Hey Hebrew fans, so more blender boring watch me work video and for those that uh, like to see the blender stuff hey I'm glad you're watching for those that this is killing you I can relate sometimes something like this is so slow moving so today I am gonna work on the floors which is kind of exciting but as you will find out it's kind of long and labor intensive too so let's go ahead and uh import the STLs and let's get going on this. So import STL and it is in my convert objects for real and grayscale floor. And we have the left side and the right side. Let's go ahead and open both those up. Import STL. And they are somewhere on this thing. So first thing I need to do is center these. So I'm gonna choose the left side up here in the top corner. I know the text is kind of blurry, sorry about that. I decided to use my full screen I usually have. And so by the time it gets edited, it might be kind of small when you guys look at it. And now I will, um, let's see, object mode, object, and center of mass. Burp, there we go. And now I will put it at location over here, zero, zero, zero. There it is. Bam. There's one of them. And now let's get the other one. And same thing. Object. Transform. Oh, set origin. Sorry center of mass bam and now we'll set it to uh zero zero and zero tab bam there they are there are my two floors so now let's go ahead and uh orientate these so we'll take this one first and you will do the old rotate we want to rotate the access to 90 degrees if you hold the control key it will pop for you better and let's there's where 90 degree ends you know what i do not believe that that is even close to where i want to be so we'll just we'll just get this rotated how we want first and we'll mess with it later go that's like a pretty good start all right so now let's move these apart now these are actually scaled to size so Let's move these. Now, if I remember correctly, burp, these should be 90 degrees from each other. So let's go ahead and rotate this. Burp, like this. This is the side wall of the castle. And I'm going to go ahead and move this so that that line lines up See if we can't get that line parallel, the green line parallel to the indent line. Solidify. And then this one, rotate 90 degrees this way. And I'm just going to move it to this line right here so we can line it up. And then let's make it clear so we can see it. And then rotate to get the parallelism <laughs> you can do it it looks pretty good now let's move it oh. and what I'd like to do is move it so that 
And this becomes my center of rotation piece here. So move that one there. Move this one here. You know what? I'm going to move this down more. Burp. 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 There we go. Chink. All right. That's not good. There we go. So now at least we have our pieces. And now let's make it solid again so we can see it. Now technically these should be the same height. And you can see they're not. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Make them the same height. So I'm going to bring this one down. Bring it down, Freddie Brown. Let's rotate this around and see what we got going on here. It does not look too bad. Herp. Now, unfortunately, this one here has got all kinds of pieces missing from it. So let's go ahead and uh, first save this file, save as, and we're going to save this under grayscale floor. Oh, looks like I already had some blenders made. I should probably, nah, I'm not going to check those. I'm, I'm sure just moving the pieces around like I am now. And let's go ahead and uh, do the manifold on this like I did yesterday. Clean up, make manifold. You can do it. Hooray, there we go. Now it's solid. All right, let's check our heights again. This one just seems to still a little bit too high. Stop. I think that looks pretty good. Move it down a little bit. Let's see what we got going on now. By Job, I think you got it. All right, so now we are going to do some craziness with this. But before we do our craziness, It's looking pretty good. Let's first save it again. File. Oops. Cancel. File. Ah. Cancel. File. Save I as number five. Okay, now I'm going to add a block. So add mesh cube. Cube -roo. Now on your cube, you can click this little arrow here and choose how big you want it. Boop. And it, you know, sizes pretty small increments. So we're talking with some huge pieces here for Blender normally. The reason why I'm sizing this, I want you to see how this block looks before we start messing with it too much. I guess it's 100 as big as you can make it. Bam. So there is my block. Now... 
I'm going to put this block in the middle just so we can kind of look at it a little better. Put the block in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the tab key and that makes it so you can see the edit mode. And you can look at here, we only have one, two, three, four different uh, segment pieces here. So I want to divide this up. If you go to edge and subdivide, and then down here you can choose how many subdivisions you want, and you can see the squares appearing on there. Now 10 is pretty good, but I want more than 10 because this is going to be how, how accurate our cuts are later on. So I'm going to make it 100, which makes it a huge monstrous amount of um, points. Let's see if I zoom in here, you can see them all. Ooh, look at all those points. And that will just give us more of smooth ability later on. All right, I'm going to get out of my mode. And now I'm going to move this block down. And I'm going to scale the heck out of this. First, I'm going to scale it smaller here. Boop. And then I'm going to scale the whole thing. Okay, made it a little crazy there. And now, top view, Z. And let's go ahead and move this. Make sure everything's covered. Then we'll go ahead and get it kind of centered. And then you will scale it again just for fun. So it's not too much bigger than our... I still want a little bigger, just not too much. There we go. And now we're going to scale the height. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Now I can really tell when things are off now. Here you can see it's off by our angle a little bit. Here it's kind of thick on that wall. So I'm going to take my parts. I got them here, but you can't see. And measure how thick that lip is. And it looks almost like the design actually goes from thicker to thinner. I didn't realize that. So. Um, the thickest part, it is over five centimeters. At the thinnest part, it is 1.7 millimeters. Let's check the other piece. This one's more consistent all the way across. And its thickest part is 6.1, and its thinnest part is 4.5. So I'm going to make it a solid 5 everywhere. So to do this, we are going to angle this. Oh, there's no lip on here. Oh, wait, wait, I see it. It's actually higher. See, there's the lip way up there. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. I like that. I love that. This side came out much better. This side though needs a little bit help. Just a little bit. Okay, so let's give it some help. Add mesh. Another cube. Cube, cube. And let's go ahead and scale this. Burp. 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 And let's move it. Move it, move it.
I think that looks pretty good. Scale, shrinky dink. Now I'm a little afraid right here because I noticed the original kind of cuts off. Let me take a look at the original on this. And yeah, it does cut off. So I'm guessing that if that goes all the way across, it's going to interfere. And it looks like it centers over that punch hole. So I'm going to slide this down just a little bit. Boop. Right about there. Right there. And then I'm going to shrink this up. A little bit this way. And I'm going to slide this right into place. Actually, I'm going to scale it again a little more out. I forgot I can shove it right inside the object to make it a little stronger. And let's just slide that right inside there. Burp. It's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to leave that just like that. Yes. Let's copy it. Copy, paste, slide on out of there. Rotate. Boop. I want it to go 90 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and use my control. There we go. And this one, of course, is a little bit different size angle, so we'll just slide this right over here. And you don't want to adjust the height at all because the height we want the same for both pieces. Now it's interesting as you can see now that this thing is not at 90 degrees like we want. So I'm going to have to take and rotate this just a little bit more. Control Z. That's interesting. Okay, I guess we don't want to rotate it more. I guess the original does have I think it wider on the end. So we're we're good. We're golden. We'll just go ahead and shrink this up now. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Now I was gonna go back and remaster all the bricks, but you know what? I really like the way he designed this. I don't want to mess with his design too much by remastering too much of it. So I'm actually not going to remaster this on purpose so you guys can enjoy the coolness of the raw feel of the way this was built originally. So, and this one actually goes the bulk of the distance. He's going the distance. He's going for speed.
Let's see, add mesh cylinder. Deep. Erp. 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 If you're wondering why I'm adding the cylinder, it is to uh, fix this corner right here. Because this corner right here, it uh, has something interesting going on there. So close, so close. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of a rounded edge to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab that side and see if I can round that edge off. See if we can't fix that. So I am going to uh, put this in dot mode Boop. there we go and I am going to oh, let's see subdivide What I'm trying to do is line it up the second divide right here with that edge right there. So that's pretty good. All right. So now that I have that all selected, we need to grab this side only Burp. and we are going to uh, scale this only on this edge here See how that looks. That seems to match pretty well. Great. Let's check out our cut right there. So for this cut here, we could just move those. So let's let's go ahead and grab them again. there we go and select box select no okay
Oh, an object mode. Oh, I don't know why it's not working. Okay. Hold on. Just move this right in. Whoop. And I'll move this right out. There we go. That should work pretty good. Solid mode. Yep, that should do her. Actually, wireframe. I should get to pull this one out a little bit too. There we go. Solid mode. Frame, war frame. I'm not sure why this bumps out right here. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but we'll go ahead and leave that the way it is. We'll cut that extra off later. I think that's looking pretty good though. Object mode. Solid. Solid. Okay, let's mess with this one now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Let's save this file. Shave. And we'll make this number six. And now it's time to do some magic booleaning. Magic booleaning. So, oh, I don't need the circle anymore. Circle gets the square. All right, so uh, let's first take this and Boolean. And we'll union that little square on there. Well, that did not work. Sometimes it doesn't work, you hit self. Sometimes that will fix the problem. You hear it working like crazy. My fan is kicking up. Now, if you do self, it takes a whole lot longer to process and render. why you always save it before you do stuff like this.
sometimes things can be so so slow. There we go. Well, that's that's looking mighty nice. So now let's hit apply. Apply. <clears throat> And the apply takes just as long as the initial took to build. You can do it. Hooray. Now we can get rid of our cube. There we go. Now it's actually part of it. And this one here, same thing. Boudin, you found a fine time to leave me, Boudin. All right, let's see if it works the first time. Hey, it did. Look at that. I didn't have to do the crazy self thing. Apply. And get rid of cube two. There we go. Now we got some nice, clean, clean lines. Okay. So now we're going to take this cube here and we are going to boolean the heck out of that too. So let me go ahead and file, save as. I know I'm saving this a lot, but when the computer locks up and everything vanishes, it just all of a sudden blinks and it's gone. You'll be glad you saved it. So, save often. So it's first uh, boolean. And this time we're going to difference the large cube. Of course, there was problems. Let's try fast to see what that what that does. Hey, cool! Fast actually worked better than self. We will keep that in mind. Note to self: use fast. All right. Boolean. And we'll take the cube. And this side worked without a problem. Nice. And apply. And now we'll delete the cube for a minute just so you can see how it looks. Now that I have my floors started, you can see it's not perfect, but we have a pretty good start. Nice flat surface now, at least. And so now we need to square it up. Get rid of all the weird little jaggies on the edges. So I'm going to bring back my cube. Cubit. Cubic zirconia. And I'm going to make it so that it's the size I want. Exactamundo on those edges. So I'm going to take my cube and I am going to move it right up to that edge that I just created and right over to this edge that I just created. 
Make a nice clean line. Nice. All right. I got those all lined up just how I want them. I am now going to duplicate the cube. So control copy, control paste, and let's go ahead and move cube three into place. I'm going to fill it up just like it's inside a giant clay cube and we're going to do ugh, we're going to do that one side first so let's go ahead and choose left side mesh and we're going to choose you know what we're going to do the cube no this will work left side mesh add modifier boolean And we're going to use intersect. And then we are going to choose cube three. I guess it's gonna work. Never mind. Looks like it may have worked. So let's go ahead and hit apply. All right. Nope, it didn't work. It looks the same. Shucky darns. Okay, let's do it a different way then. So instead, let's take this cube and we will actually slide it this way. And you know, I can actually make this cube a whole lot smaller. We don't need to quite have it quite so big. Burp. Z 
We'll just slice that right there. Okay. Now I got our cube in place. Let's say this again because I'm afraid. Save as floor number eight. You know what? I like that fast one. Let's go and try that this time again. Boolean and fast and difference and take this here. That worked really cool. Apply. All right, let's rotate this thing 90 degrees. Rotate. Let's move it in place to the other one. Oops. Z. And let's do the same thing. Boolean. Oh, should have chose fast. Oh well. Apply. Now, if I want, I could move this up and just put it right up against there. So you check this out. Move up. And stick it right in that groove and make a nice 90 degree cut if I chose to. But I don't want to because I want to leave his original sculpt. I don't want to do too much cutting and paste and slicing and dicing. But that is something you could do as well. But I like I like the coolness of his original sculpt. So I do not want to affect that too much. Alright, so I can send the cube away. I can send the cylinder away. Let's save this one more time now that I have it kind of clean cut here and there. File. Save as number nine. Floor number nine. All right, so now uh, I got some other things I want to do. He added some cool foot bumps on there, but unfortunately those are just not going to work well. So we, we need to smooth all those out. Sorry, man. No, no footholds. So we are going to choose this one first. And we're going to go to scope mode. And we're going to choose the old smoothing it out. And I don't want to destroy the roughness of the sculpt because that's really cool. So I'm going to have to make my bump smooth out tool. It's just a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. And then change the strength to be... All right, let's see how this looks. Burp. We're trying to take off acne or something. Okay, that's a little too small. Burp, 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 burp. Just not wanting to flatten. There we go. Burp. Hey, we got one done. There's another one. Burp. And then we got some on the other tool. Object mode. Or the other. Oh, the other piece over here. Got a couple of them. 
And the idea is cool, but once we print this in plastic, those little things are just going to break off really easy. So I kind of hate to uh, have them on there just to break. Sculpt mode. Burp. It does kind of stink. It kind of made like a blotch on there. Let's see if we can get rid of that a little bit. There we go. Dun da da. Oh. All right. So that's looking pretty good. cube back up here again we got to do some more slicing and dicing and chopping I'm trying to think I want to do this now or sand it later it's one of those choices of like you know, we could sand it later. problem we have is right in here we have this extra little globular cluster we have to get rid of we'll just stick this right in there and again I want to be careful not to destroy a sculpt while I'm at it so there's a little bit of a touch and go here how much I want to remove off of there. Boolean, fast, this piece, apply. There we go. Much cleaner cut. Let's check out the other ones too while we're at it. Yes, from the straight view you can't see anything hanging over so that'll be fine. So there we go. Cool. All right, so now one last thing to do, and that is this cut right here. So let me show you what's going on here. There's always two pieces interlinked together, but the problem is if I was to unhide this piece, it won't link. There's a big old globular cluster there. So bring that piece back. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually find out where this is located. And it is located at Z negative 15.98. 
and I am going to purposely uh, move this in tighter and lower just so we can cut it. So I'm going to move this in like this, chunk, like this, chunk, uh, right like that, and then purposely sink it down a little bit to give us some clearance. And then I'm going to cut this piece out of it. So check this out. Select Boolean. All too fast. What the heck? The other piece. And apply. Didn't work. Okay. So I have to do a little more work on this. Let me save this because I'm afraid. So it didn't work the first time. We may have to start messing around with stuff and it may mess up a lot. So modif modifier boolean. You will choose self difference, this thing in there. And 25 years later, it will be done. Come on, you can do it. See, that's the boring part. Why you guys are sitting here watching this? I'm being quiet too, so there's nothing for you to listen to or anything else. So, kind of funny how uh, it adds to the misery of watching this slowly do its thing. Is if the guy hosting it is just as quiet as the machine. Come on. Now it is a little extra slow because I am also recording. Now I did change it to 15 frames per second so that I can have a little more processing power for my program here. so long why 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 I'm gonna text my brother hold on I don't know comma but you can make it whatever you want. Send me what you want to change it to. Period. How 
can it take so long? Now there's some cool things about a sculpt I didn't realize when I was uh, piecing it together. Is I mentioned that there were some spots that it didn't match up with the flooring. And actually he did go and actually make some little circle pieces. Like right here, this actually matches with the flooring. Which is why I didn't want to totally change his sculpt. Because some things in it actually do match and it's kind of cool. If you look at the comic, it actually is a brickwork. Like how this looks here. And it's kind of like this... This, this sub flooring of Castle Grey Skull, so it is very uh, organic looking, which is why also I didn't want to go through and just make some really cool bricks because you lose the organic nature of it. So that is why I'm trying to keep his uh, sculpt intact as much as I can. Even though my first thought was to create a whole entire brick layer and then use his sculpt to cut it out, but I think this is like this is gonna look way cooler. Slice and dice. Come on. The stinky part is as long as this is going to take, it's going to take the same amount of time to hit the apply button. I kind of wish that you could just auto apply and be done with it. So it doesn't work, you hit control Z. If it does work, you're done instead of doing it twice. But I know most people when they do Boolean, it does not take this long. I, I, do, I do much more advanced Booleans than most people. So, that is why it's taking extra long. Extra long, man. Sometimes the computer will completely lock up and this will just vanish. Boof! And it's like, oh. Well, I'm glad I, I saved it just recently. See, I should submit here the, the, the secret of life or something. That way it's like, oh, good thing I stayed on and listened to this instead of fast forwarding past this boring booleaning piece. The worst part about it is it's going to take a processing power later on when I go to upload this. You know what? Usually I up the volume 400%, but today I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to upload this video as is. So this is quiet. I apologize. You're going to have to turn the volume up on your own. So, so sorry. Boolean, Boolean. Boolean, Boolean. Uh, hold on a sec, I gotta text my brother back. Right now I'm doing a video feed, comma. But as soon as we're done with the video feed, I will change your password. See, I should do this live. Then I don't have to mess with uploading it later. My brother is the coolest dude ever. And no, I'm not just saying that because he doesn't watch my videos, so he doesn't even he won't even know I'm saying that about him. But uh, he he is a cool guy. Bump 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 bump. Let me see where there's a speed up button you can click. 
and there is it's a fast button we already know the fast button didn't work but you know you know what I mean there's some kind of hand crank you could crank to make the processor churn a little faster churn a little faster Now, Jinx Caliber added some uh, little foam feet on these two. So I imagine when he uh, starts producing these, he's going to put those same foam feet on the prints once they're done. Taking forever. I could take a nap and wake up. And it still might not be done. Alright, I'm gonna leave this running. I got some some things I want to do. I will come back and look at it. I wish this was live so you guys could holler and say, hey, it's done. But I will be right back. Sky on.
it's still running. I figure by now I'd be done. Wow, this is taking forever and a day. Stinks is because as long as this is taken, it means it's going to take just as long, if it works, to boolean it again or to hit apply. Painful. Painful. Yep, I can see it now. Oh, you guys are sitting at home watching this. So your significant other goes, hey, what are you watching? Oh, I'm watching this guy booling these parts. Oh, what's that? It's where you just sit and watch a little blue wheel spin around on the screen for hours and hours and hours. So what, what, why was Hebro's last video 12 hours long? Well, he was booting. And it stinks. I can't even move the mouse around to show you guys all the other details on the on the sculpt. Because when it's doing its bulleting process, that's all it can do. It can't do no more, Captain. Anyway, I'm going to go finish cleaning up the other room. While you guys are watching this little wheel spin. If you are watching this in the premiere, feel free to chat amongst yourselves.
not done yet? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Well, I might just kill the live video feed then. Let's see if we can't uh, 